It's almost a year since Nigeria's federal government removed long-standing fuel subsidies. The scheme was costing billions of dollars and non-payment of it became the source of persistent fuel shortages. While scrapping it, Petroleum Minister Ibe Kachuku said it was costly and that government could not afford it. But it's back and unlike in the past, the state-owned NNPC is now shouldering the excess cost alone. When I say landing cost, I'm referring to the price that brings it to Nigeria. This excludes the margins that are um, earned by the retailers, transporters, dealers, you know, the bridging costs and then various government taxes. So just the landing cost alone is way over 145. In fact, based on our last estimate, when the oil price was around 52, it was somewhere in the region of about 151 um, naira per litre. So it's at $55, $56 oil, I'm sure it's significantly higher than $160, $160 per litre. But the NMPC is still selling to marketers at $133 from its depots. So what that means, the NMPC is absorbing the loss of roughly in the region of about $25 to $30 naira per litre um, to ensure that there's enough supply in the country. Now, that's a form of source in the sense that it's funded. The new scheme means pump prices will rise slightly to 145 naira per litre even when it should be in the region of 160 naira. Nigeria's recession-hit economy is struggling to earn enough revenue. On an average, nearly 30 million litres of fuel is consumed here on a daily basis, meaning the cost of subsidising is still huge, and industry experts think the scheme can only survive for a short time. Even if the subsidy is, as we, as we have calculated, around the region of 25 naira per litre, I mean, that's a significant amount in terms of uh, daily sub subsidy amount. So it's significant. I'd say it's in the realm of billions, but um, the question is, NPC can't sort of accommodate it in the sense that they earn dollars upstream. So they have, and then, I mean, exchanges have depreciated significantly, translating to more naira per dollar. So to some extent, they can absorb those losses, but it's still not sustainable. Nigeria has been exporting crude oil in billions of barrels over the past decade, but it doesn't have the capacity to refine enough crude to feed its domestic demands. Most of its local refineries are hobbled by rampant pipeline vandalism and limited investment in domestic refineries. But President Buhari's government wants to reverse that. It's aiming at refining 50% of Nigeria's crude output by 2020. Kelechi Amekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria.